Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I had this piece of fabric left after the tennis skirt that I made a few weeks back. If you are interested in seeing that, you can yeah. click here to go to that video. But yeah, I thought about what I could do with this fabric and the only thing that came to my mind that wasn't really so complicated for my amateur ass to create was a wraparound skirt. That should be easy enough, right? So yeah, let's start. So first I cut off the little square piece of excess fabric that I'll be using later on too. Cutting that piece off gave me one big rectangle. From that rectangle I cut off thin piece for the waistband. This can be as thin or as wide as you like it. I didn't really even measure mine. Next I folded the rectangle and measured around my waist, which was 84 cm around. So I made the back piece of the skirt 42 cm by marking 21 cm from the fold. Then I marked a diagonal line from that point down, creating something similar to letter A, or well half of it. I left the piece folded, I put the fabric right sides together, matching the diagonal lines, and I measured and marked 40 cm from the edge and cut the excess fabric off. I did the same for both sides. Then I put all three pieces right sides together, I pinned them and I sewed it down with straight stitch. This is what it looked like and after that it was time to create a simple waistband for the skirt so I just connected all of those little pieces that I cut earlier to create one very long stripe. In the end I didn't need the stripe as long as, it ha as I had it, but it's always better to have it longer than not have it long enough. Is it just me or was that sentence really suggestive? <laughs> Anyways, to create nice and neat waistband I folded the edges of the fabric in once and then I folded it in half and iron it to make it easier on myself to sew it down in place later on. Then I pinned the right side of the waistband to the wrong side of the skirt, pinning the middle of the strap to the middle of the skirt.
I sewed it down and I folded the waistband over and pinned it down to the front right side of the skirt, sewing it down too with straight stitch again. This is what it looked like with the straps all down too. I then sewed the double hem at the bottom of the skirt and I zigzag stitched the sides so they wouldn't fray. You can cut them here to create a curved edge if you want but I decided not to, so the last thing for me to do was to create a little hole for the strap to go to. I wrapped the skirt around myself and I marked where I needed the hole to be and I used the button presser foot to make a nice neat button hole. I seam ripped the hole and it was done. I hope you guys are gonna try this DIY at home and I hope that you like this one and if you did then please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what you would like to see from me next time and don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss out on any video that I upload. Hope you all having a great Monday and that you all gonna have a nice week and I'll see you next time. Bye!